Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. We're going to be doing some unboxing. Mm. We got my packages, finally. Shout out to Hasbro Pulse for actually, you know, going the extra mile to help and track it down. Stuff got lost at FedEx. You know what? It's something I can't really fully expect things to go smooth. It is the holidays. You know how much stuff's being processed by all these carriers, so... I ain't mad. Nah, I ain't mad. You know why? Because, oh, that's hot. Today we're going to be getting these opened up. Um, if you guys don't know already, I do have a mixer. It is the Mighty Beast Man. I do plan on streaming for a little bit today. I'm not too sure. So if you guys do watch this today, feel free to go check out the Mighty Beast Man on Mixer. Let's get this all open. I've been waiting for these packages for the longest minute. And if you guys saw my last video, you guys would probably see how shocked and surprised I was. Alright. Packing slip. Okay, so the box... Box number one. I got the Generation Select Hot Shot, and it is... The remold and oh, I guess it's more or less a repaint and a different head of the Siege Hound. Uh, it is kind of roughly based off of, I mean, the whole concept of this figure of Hot Shot. It's basically inspired by the Cybertronian defense version of Hot Shot from Transformer Cybertron. I am excited to pop this open. In fact, you know what? Let's do it right now. This poor knife. It's getting dull. Oh, what ain't dull? The spectacular figure. Look at that. Yes! So, that is really cool. I really uh, like the fact that they have uh, you know, some different options. You know, I... I do wish that it was ones that, you know, were sold as retail, and they weren't, like, exclusives, but... You know what? I get exclusives from GameStop all the time, so I, I, I really don't... I, I can't really complain. Alright, box number two. We got... Generation Select, Nightbird. You guys don't know who Nightbird is, in the G1 episode, there was an episode called Enter the Nightbird. A human scientist creates a robot, and everyone, the Autobots and Decepticons kind of mock it, but then at the same time, they, they kind of realize that uh, uh, she is kind of, a, kind of a fearsome foe, especially in the hands of the Decepticons. So there you go. Now, I'm not too sure if she's got any... Decepticon markings or Autobot markings on her. I prefer if they didn't, just for the fact that she was neither Autobot or Decepticon. There you go. Closer look on Nightbird. So that's really cool. I mean, I've seen them do fan ones. I've seen them do, like, re repaints. This is slightly a repaint, but it's a little bit more excusable. Okay, now, on to box two. And this is the one I was supposed to get, thus leading to the reaction that I had in my last video. They... I don't, I don't know what happened. They didn't send Magna Defender with the others that was actually supposed to be part of that set. Because there's a packing slip that was originally supposed to come with the other ones. But finally, ladies and gentlemen, we do have... Magnet Defender in all his glory. It's so cool. Uh, you know what? I really like the fact that they they gave you both of his weapons. Because if you guys don't know, in the show, his sword turned into a in, into his blaster. So they gave you both his blaster and his badass sword. He does come with a little blast effect that looks very reminiscent to the one that uh. The Iron Man for, uh, what was it, the Studio 10 series, and, uh, what was it, the, one of the, uh, I guess, I guess most of the 
more recent Marvel Legends Iron Man to come with. So, pretty much it looks like they might have actually used the same one. They just changed how it attaches. So, there you guys go. And before I end this video, I do want to let you guys know I do plan on doing that Ghostbusters Ecto-1 Transformers review today. So, just keep an eye out for that. And if you guys really, really, really like this video, please let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. In fact, it is a driving force for me to continue doing these videos. Is knowing that you guys do, do truly appreciate the figures that I show. And I really hope that you guys also get them too. They look awesome on the shelf. As you can see. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you guys, remember, um, I do have a Facebook group. It is, I, I've, I've had to change the name up because I've explored way, way, way further more than just Transformers. It is Official Nerner N-E-R N-E-R Del Beastman. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, um, I'm trying to build a pretty good community. I do know that there are some other ones. I don't really say. <laughs> That uh, there's a there's a lot of negativity. Not want to go into that, but you know what? We're all fans. We all come from different different fandoms. So why not all unite? You know, we're all we're, we're all nerds, right? At the end of the day, right? So check that out. Also Instagram. That is the with an a underscore robotic underscore beastman. And I do have a couple other things now. I do have Twitter. Yes, yeah, mm, I do. That is the Mighty Beast Man, with spaces in between, different from my mixer, which I do have. And also, if you guys want to let me know any kind of figures that you may see, or ones that you may know, of some I may actually have, whether they're retro or they're modern, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see if I got them, and I'll do a review on them. Sounds pretty cool, right? Mmm, me, yeah, mmm, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and remember to stay awesome and um, be a uh, be the best you can be. Yeet.